Hello, today I am going to be showing you a tutorial on how to use pointers. Um, I am eventually going to start the freaking game, there we go. So, um, as I explained in the previous tutorials, a pointer basically allows you to keep a value uh, that you found whenever you load the game over and over. Typically once you find a value, you're going to have to refine that value later because of the fact that it changes its space of memory every time you reload the game. So, to do that, we're going to open up Cheat Engine, and I'm going to lower that. And then we're going to pop open for this game, Torchlight 2, and we're going to find a value. So, I believe my help is at 423. So, we'll, we'll use 423 as our value here. I'm going to use a function. So, now I'm at 436. So 436, um, got three values. We'll try setting it to 400, seeing if it makes any difference. Oops, that was not right. So, okay, I'm repeatedly clicking the wrong things. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. So I'll try to change this one to 400. So that appears to also not be the value. So I'll try this one. That's also not the value. Cool. So none of these are the value. That sucks ass. <sighs> okay. This is where I should try things before I do them in the freaking video. Whatever. We'll try potions. So uh, we've got potion. Oh my god. All right. Well. Uh, can I split these? Is there anything I can at all do with these freaking potions? I can't. I can't. Uh, yeah, I'm just, just shut up. Can I drop gold? Is there anything? Can I pick up one? No. No. I'm back there, I guess. Okay, here we go. So I've got 25. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go to new scan 24. Okay, now we're gonna make it 25. 25. There we go. All right. There's a value. We'll change it to 50. And now that it's 50, we'll take away one. Still got 49. Cool. Okay. So <laughs> that was kind of a pain in the ass, but I found <laughs> something. So now that we have a value that we can use, um, we will go ahead and do a pointer scan for this address. A pointer scan is basically going to look for pointers that lead to that address. Unless you choose a value instead, but we'll choose the address to find instead first. So, um, the things you need to pay attention to here are number of thread scanning, which I'm going to set mine to 8 because I have 8 available threads, and the max level I'll leave at 5 because I don't think the pointer is going to go any higher than 5 levels. It may go to 6 or 7, but I don't know. We'll just say 5 for now. So, the next thing it wants you to do is choose a location to save where these pointer dumps are going to go. Um, you want to pay attention to where you're putting these, and you want to put them somewhere that has plenty of room, because the pointer files can get very big. So, we'll just call this Torchlight 2 um, Potions. It's probably not going to be potions, it's probably whatever's going to be in that inventory slot, which I'll probably show you in a minute. But I'm also going to call it number one, because there are going to be many of these. So, or at least two, probably. So it's going to do a quick initial scan, gathering all the, taking basically a snapshot of what your memory looks like, and then it's going to start doing a scan through the memory to find what is, or what pointers are searching, are at that address. And that actually did not take very long, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so, now the thing about this is that any one of these can actually be right. I can pick the, this one, and that's actually going to be the same, so if I change this to I change it to 40, and I go back here and change it, it's still 40, so that's pretty cool, right? Um, that's interesting. Huh. Well, at any rate, <laughs> basically what I found is, um, I don't know how these memory addresses are actually stored, but at any rate, I know that this is basically inventory slot one up here. That's what I've figured out. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save, quit, whatever I gotta do, 
I want to completely close the game. Okay? Um, that's where this gets tricky. I know. And there's OBS showing you stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to open up Torchlight 2 again. Um, once it starts up, though, I'm going to do something cool. Which, you know. You know, whatever. Cool. Single player, yay! <sighs> okay, so. I'm back into the inventory. And the consumables and stuff. Alright, cool. So, we're going to open up this again. And uh, if you leave this open, that's helpful. In case you lose that, you can always right click and go to pointer scan for this address and then hit cancel and then just open whatever the pointer scan you were at was. Uh, same way of keeping this open, pretty much. All right, what you're gonna to wanna to do now is set this, since you closed the program, you have to reselect which process to look for. I'm going to go ahead and remove the current code list. And now you're gonna notice that these pointers don't all work anymore. Uh, and there's good reason for that. It's because they don't work. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is search again. So we need to do a new scan. We need to search for 39, because that's what the value currently is. And I'll search for 40. Here's value, we'll make sure it works. All right, it works. So what we can do now is to go back to rescan memory. This gets rid of all the old pointers that weren't what we were looking for. Now you can either do this by value or you can do it by address. You should do it by address whenever possible because that's generally the more accurate way of doing it. But if you just have to do it as a value, um, you know, feel free to use value too. That's the way you start getting less results. So now we put in the address from here that we just recently found. And we have a name as the second one. You don't want to name it the same as the first one. Otherwise, it won't really have anything to compare the other one to. So you'll name it to number two. And it'll go through and scan for pointers and then find, you know, more pointers, basically. Now, any one of these, or many of them, or all of them, or none of them, could be pointers that you're looking for. So you could try any one in particular and then you should do the exact same thing but what we'll do now is we'll again close the game completely close it and then we're going to go ahead and i'm also just going to show you something real real quick and easy here um this is actually kind of cool i'm going to close the pointer scan part for now you can actually save your cheat tables if you haven't figured this out yet so if you save it to the default name uh in your my documents folder on windows 7 8.1 whatever 8 whatever windows you're using and you save it as a default name, which in this case is Torchlight 2. Well, next time I open up Torchlight 2 and get into the game, and now once I open this up, if I select the process, it'll actually prompt me, Yo, you want to keep the current code address list? It'll actually, keep, it'll actually prompt you, do you want to load the associated table? Say yes, it'll bring up that pointer, or that uh, list that you saved previously, which is a useful feature. So now we'll get back into it. And see if this pointer is the correct one. Or one of the correct ones. So currently that's a 40. Uh, that shows blank, so that means no the pointer is not correct. So we have to find or have to narrow our search down a little bit more. So we'll drop this back down to 39 and back up to 40. Clearly it's this one. So we know it's that address. We'll just go to pointer scan, cancel it, and then we'll open. And then the PC, pointer scans, and this one. So we open our most recent one that we were using. We get a pointer scanner and rescan for memory. Again, we type in the address that we found, which is 198F5278. Hit enter, choose a name for it. In this case, I'm just going to add the 3 to this one. And down to 410. So not so bad. And now again, I'm going to just go, you know, take a shot in the dark and say, eh, this, no, we're going to use this one. Okay, so, I'm going to try that one. So, close it. Close it all. Open it again. Another way of doing this, which is usually a lot, well, maybe not quicker, but um, makes you have to do the whole, uh, what's it called? whole pointer scan thing less would be to actually go through and completely restart your machine and then um, find the pointer and then do the rescan. Um, and that's because doing that will completely flush your memory and it'll make it a lot 
easier, a lot easier for uh, for you to find the correct pointer. That kind of actually, it, that might actually be the right pointer. I haven't loaded the damn <laughs> process yet, but no, it turns out no, it's not the right pointer still. So off we go to find the value yet again, and there it is. It is indeed the correct value. And uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, there we go. Had problems. There we go. Get rid of that again. And then we need to open, open that. And then we rescan memory for the address, which is 1EA, 23A78. And we'll save that to number 4. We're down to 294, so that's significantly lower list. Every time you go farther down, you get a little bit closer. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna get rid of all these old stuff, old things that don't work, and I'm gonna go ahead and close that again, and then we're gonna open it again. <laughs> and then uh, it goes on and on. All right, load torch by two, keep the current list. Load. Uh, go, go. Oh, okay. Let's see, we're lucky. Yes. Okay. So this, this is a working pointer. This is good stuff right here. So we can check this. We can go in the inventory since I just changed it to sixty. It works. It is a working thing. Um, I wonder if this is working. Nope. This is specifically for this set of items. So cool. You can actually keep that. Um, no matter how many times we start the game, that's how the pointer will be. Um, as for the health, I would go through how to find the value, but I already did that in a previous tutorial, and it's just kind of a waste of time, honestly. I am at your service. And, uh, yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. But, um, the same would work for experience, or whatever the hell this is. Uh, Lana, you know what? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that at all. Because that's, that's just pain in my ass. Okay, so, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about how to use the pointer scanner, how to find pointers, all that stuff, feel free to let me know. Um, uh, my next tutorial probably going to be about how to set up multiple uh, codes in here and how to activate them with clashes of buttons and how to make an actual trainer type thing out of this. So for that, uh, stick around for the next video and uh, see you next time. Thanks.